Hi, everyone. Welcome. I am here today with Cindy Goldridge from PTS Coaching, creator of Calm and Connected and APCA. I am your host, Dulce Torres. We will get into what is what Coach uh, Cindy Goldridge is doing in a little bit more detail as we progress in our conversation. So, Cindy, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. And Cindy, I'm very curious to know what got you started with Common Connected and what is all this about? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I have a background in mental health. I was a therapist, but for years I, I, I was noticing that with ADHD, I didn't have the right training. So I realized that Coaching is actually a very effective model for working with people with ADHD because I don't look at ADHD as necessarily a mental health deficit. I look at it as a neurobiological difference. Mm -hmm. So I went and I got trained as a coach and I got trained specifically in ADHD and executive function and how those all impact learning, motivation, behavior, and really the whole family system. Mm -hmm. So originally i was working with the high school and the college kids but i found that if parents didn't know what they didn't know if they didn't really understand the journey of their child i wasn't getting very far so i decided about 15 years ago that i had to put the parent at the center of my work i helped the parent understand what is so challenging about my child even though they're brilliant they're wonderful they're good kids they work differently and that's why you know we talked other times about why is my business called pts coaching mm -hmm. it's called pts coaching because i think they all take a different pathway to success so i love that i this is the first time that i really grasped to what you pathway to success really meant when you created this and i i i always like your program because putting the parent at the center of the the support for their child is a lot of my belief when I look at things in systemic approach in a family system approach and as mm -hmm. a mental health professional as well and a uh, coach myself I believe that working with children's adolescent is not easy without the parent support even though I believe that that's the same with is adults but uh, I understand how we, um, you got into this so so tell me a little bit more now, what is common connected? And then if you can walk me through APCA. Sure, sure. Common connected is a seven session workshop series that I created almost 15 years ago, where the first session is all about ADHD and executive function. And again, understanding the child, not from the, the clinical definition, but from the emotional definition. For example, um, when we say to our child, do me a favor, go upstairs, get your backpack, your shoes, your tennis jacket, on the way down, could you see if I got my water bottle? Most parents are looking at me like, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And when I ask them, what is the emotion you feel when they come down and they, you know, if they came down and they really <laughs> only have one or two things. And parents usually say frustrated, exhausted, angry. My kid's being defiant, he's being difficult. He doesn't pay attention to me. Mm -hmm. But when I explain to them what working memory is, that maybe they're just not holding on to everything and being able to integrate it with everything else going on. Then they realize, oh, okay, now I need to go into problem solving mode. Now I need to build skills. So they start to calm down. So when we explain all of this, on top of giving them the skills and the tools and the insights, already, even after just that first session, mm -hmm. things calm down. And then after session one, I built in, how do you know if you're enabling or supporting a child? How do you know what boundaries aren't gonna just trigger your child? How do you know what consequences to have that are going to build skills and not just be punitive? Mm -hmm. So we talk about communication. We talk about how to collaborate because a lot of these kids, and you know this, they'll say, are very strong-willed. Yes. They need to feel like they've got power and control in their lives. So we need to work with them rather than just keep working against them because that just blows up in our face. Mm 
right? That doesn't really work. So that's what we do throughout the workshop. Um, yeah, um, sorry to interrupt you there, but I want to make a comment that uh, I think that one of the things we believe that there's something that parents are always kind of like the ones to blame for what happens to their children and why the children behave in the manner that they're not disciplining them. And I mm -hmm. think that these workshops does help so much to understand how their brain works. And that, you know, when you talk about the first lesson and um, what they're learning, it just reminded me that as a parent myself, when I will ask for something, no matter what it was, even like go and clean the kitchen. So a term like that, like we said, sometimes go and clean your room. We forget that that is huge command that it means something to us, but we don't understand what it means to them. And That's it's interesting, so you know, the first time I learned that when my family member says to me, the kitchen is clean. And I said, no, it's not. And all what they were looking is at the sink. That's right. it. There's that's nothing right. else. And that's the message that we're sending in here to this training is for parents to understand that it is much more than just give a direction for them to comply is what is they're getting it from that uh, direction and ask that we have of them. And I love Absolutely. that that is explained in that first session in detail because parents do not understand this as well. So thank yeah. you for that. Absolutely. And I will add that, you know, there are so many at this point, therapists and neuropsychologists and psychiatrists who after they, you know, make the diagnosis, they will, you know, regardless of what treatment the child is going to get, whether it's therapy or medication or whatever, mm -hmm. they're starting to realize I must give a script for parent coaching mm -hmm. so that the parent really understands this child. Yes. And so that's what they're doing. So that's why I years ago broke it up so that people can take just session one mm -hmm. and then decide if they need the rest of the parenting support. But that first session, Dulce, is gold for these parents. It really shifts their perspective. Yes. Yes. And it takes, there's no blaming. And it's just the beauty that is all science-based. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really important in here. So once, um, I know, so this is the training for the parents, for the parents right. of a child. And typically, I always, people ask me, who can come? Is it only for parents of kids diagnosed with ADHD? Yeah, so I think that's a great question. For so many reasons, it's really open to such a broader category of people. First of all, a lot of people don't like the stigma of ADHD. They don't want to have their child just classified in that way. And I respect that. And we actually even talk about that in class. Some people, it's too early. They don't know yet. Or they're just wondering. But my feeling is, if you are struggling with your child, you deserve the support. So whether your child has been red flagged, in other words, it's a maybe, or whether you're not even down that road yet, but you know you're just struggling, or if your child's been diagnosed, it's appropriate. And I will add that people, the other question people ask me is, well, what age? Yes. To me, I have had parents of kids who are three and four years old. I've had parents of kids who are 22 and 23 years old, mm -hmm. because yes. until they're fully launched, you are actively parenting. Yes. And in fact, the parents of the older kids, you know, after they get over the, oh, I wish I knew this when they were younger, <laughs> which I get it, you know, but they realize it's not too late. Yes. I really yes. still can build a relationship with my child. And I have to, because yes. it's the parent and that trusting connected relationship, right? That's yes. why we call it calm and connected. Mm -hmm. It's that parent who ultimately is going to help them heal and move forward and accept themselves and be able to launch into the adult world. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it. Thank you so much for that. So I think that this is very valuable. And um, and I look forward to many of our listeners enrolling in the different courses that we are gonna be offering. Um, and these courses, I wanna take a moment and say, these courses are being offered in English and in Spanish. And I understand Chinese as well. It's available in Chinese, and right now it's being translated into Arabic and Japanese. So, wow, this is amazing. 
Oh, this is incredible. So we will give you at the end of this recording more information about the times and days of the different courses that are going on right now. And we will have information about the website. So Sydney, let's, so this is a training for the parents. So let's move a little bit. Years later, right. something came to you about, okay, professionals, other people can do this work as well. Right. Tell us right. about it. So it was very interesting. I had so many people taking the course who were therapists, who were struggling with their own children, who were educators, who were speech pathologists, um, occupational therapists, all sorts of people that were also working with kids. And they found like, you know what? I really, this is, this is the missing piece. This is what we need. I want to do this work. Mm -hmm. So I developed the training. The, it's called the APCA, the ADHD Parent Coach Academy, right? Mm -hmm. I developed the training around it. And then what was really interesting was I had parents who had been former clients whose kids were now launched who said, you know what, I, I just, I'm so passionate about what I learned with you. I want to do this for other parents as well, because no parent should have to suffer the way I did, is what they say. So I also train parents who have been through this journey, because I genuinely believe that this has to be out there. And what you need in order to be a good, effective coach is you certainly need your coach training skills, right? But you also need the insight and the passion and then all of the knowledge that, that we impart in the APCA, the, the skills, the tools, the strategies, the science, all of that. It's such a, you know, this a comprehensive program that really touches on all of this. And we also touch on the marketing because at the end of the day, when you want to be a professional, even though most of the professionals I know say, I would do this if I didn't have to make money anyway, but I need to make money. So we need to also talk about the marketing piece. Correct. So we do that as well. Great. So, and how long is the um, APCA training? So the academy is 12 sessions. Each session is two hours. Mm -hmm. And then during the week, I pair you and you pair, you know, when you're doing the Spanish, of course, you know, we pair you with one or two other people in the class so that during the week, you are expected to practice some of what you've learned, go deeper on some of the concepts, and then um, turn in homework. The homework is very, you know, it's, it's not very, you know, it's not very time consuming. It's really about uh, two or three questions. Each question can be answered in a paragraph or two. Mm -hmm. So there's that, but it is important to go a little deeper. Um, and it, what is amazing that happens during the training is that the coaches become so connected with each other. And I'll just say a sidebar, Dulce, you and I have known each other for 15 years and we met as coaches. And of course it evolved to so much more because you get to know people on such a cellular level mm -hmm. on how do they feel about this? How do they approach this and, and everything else. And it's just, it's such a, an amazing group of people that, that do this training. And so the relationships are really last way beyond. I, I so much agree with you. I, I seen it. We completed the first Spanish class, um, ended in May, and I could see the, the group, the connection in the group. I can see the conversations. I can see how they were not just applying this to their own families themselves and how they can work with others. They noticed it, that they can use these skills at a lot of different levels at work when they were listening to co-workers and there were notices that if they have ADHD themselves and they were getting a little bit active emotionally, a little and, uh, engaged in a conversation, they backed down and they said, okay, how can I do this collaborative? And it is incredible to see their growth and their understanding. Um, and I'm just glad that we are right now in all the different languages and in training individuals to be out there providing more information to parents and professionals. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the thing that's, things that to me has been very important, and I know to you as well, is 
touching on the different cultural differences, mm -hmm. the different ethnicities and how that's all impacting, the generational issues, the, the economic issues. You know, one of the things that's great about being able to do groups is that we're able to really support communities that can't necessarily afford trainings yeah. because we could do the economy of scale by doing a group. Correct. So that, that's also been awesome. Yes, that's incredible. Well, Cindy, what else you would like our audience to, as, as a takeaway for them, if they're interesting, either a tip, you know, something that you want to tell to the parent that is might be listening to this recording, and or a professional who might consider being trained. Sure. To the parents out there, if you're listening, I'm betting that you're struggling, because why else would you be with us? It's not easy parenting, period. But when you have a complex child, you deserve some support. You know, people used to say, oh, I wish there was a book or I wish there, was... there are books. But to be able to interact with people, ask your questions, connect with others who are experiencing what you're experiencing, it's really, really magical. So give it a try. Definitely give it a try. And to those of you who feel like, I want to make a difference for parents. This training is phenomenal and it really, really works. Um, I will also say that I've got tons of teachers and actually school administrators who take this because they know they're working with the students. But if you're working with students, who else you're interacting with? Their parents. Exactly. So they feel so much more confident being able to sit across the parents and say, hey, this is what Johnny's really going through. This is how they're struggling. These are some things that might be helpful for you. And so they're able to support the parents as well. So it's very comprehensive. Perfect. Thank you so much, Cindy, for being here with us today. And more information will be following with all the courses that we're doing in English and Spanish and time zones and all of that, the days and when they start. So keep watching and you'll see that information. Thank you so much. Thank you.